Hi everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Datta. I'm a third year MBA student at Bardwan Medical College and Hospital West Bengal. In my previous three videos, I've talked about how to study the subjects of second year of MBBS, namely Micro, Pharma and Patho. And you have shown so much love to those videos. And in the comment section of videos, you have requested one particular topic that is how to represent answers for your university examinations. And so is this video. So before getting into the video, I want to clarify two very important topics. Number one is something called as time management. Time is a necessary evil for the university exams. The time seems to be huge but it is not. We are given around three hours of time to represent our answers in the papers but we need to actually write very long answers for each and every question, each and every topic and that makes it very difficult to complete the entire examination in that stipulated amount of time. So it is a very good practice that you keep a look at your watch or clock after completion of each and every question so that you can have an idea of how much time is left and you can end up completing the entire question paper before the time ends. And secondly is something called as studying before examination. And that is a very necessary thing that is needed that you need to complete the entire syllabus before going for your examination so that you can have a proper representation of the answers. If you do not study the subject and topics properly, no matter how much beautifully you represent, you may not get the proper marks because you need to write the proper answers for the proper questions and then represent it beautifully so that it might help you getting better marks. At this point, I want to clarify that even after knowing every single bit of a topic, representation of answers matter. So in this video, I want to talk about five very essential points which shall make the representation of your answers even more beautiful. So without much ado, let us get into the video. Number one is handwriting matters. It is a very bad notion that goes around for doctors and medical students that bad handwriting shall be your identity. But that is not the case for university exams, trust me. If you represent the answers with a good handwriting, it becomes very much legible for the examiners to comprehend your answers. If you are writing with a bad handwriting, you are making it difficult for the examiners to find your answers, find the key words and key points for your answers. And that makes it very difficult for the examiner resulting in a poor marks. So it is very important that you write in a very beautiful and legible handwriting for your university exams. Number two is showcase your confidence. Write that answer first which you are very much confident about. Use headings and subheadings, diagrams and flowcharts to represent that answer and make that answer the most beautiful answer of the entire paper. Because first impression is the last impression. So once you create a good impression with that answer, the examiner gains confidence in you and checks the entire paper with a lot of confidence and you end up getting better marks. Number three is diagrams are important. Draw at least one or two diagrams for each question so that you get a better visual representation of the answer in the examiner's mind and you end up scoring higher. Diagrams form an integral part of the MBBS system. For example, in the subject of pathology, if you are writing an answer about rheumatic heart disease, draw a diagram of the caterpillar cells or the anti scow cells with the presence of an ASCOF body. And that makes the entire answer very wholesome and visually representable. And that makes you get a better marks for that particular answer. In this section, I really want to make a point that using color pencils in university exams are allowed. So if you are using colored pencils to make the diagrams, it becomes even more visually attractive and better for the better representation of your answers. Diagrams basically act as space killers. diagrams use So it is very recommended that you use at least one or two diagrams for each 
question in your paper now there are some questions where you cannot draw a diagram for example someone asks you the mechanism of a drug in pharmacology what diagram would you actually use but in that case something very important can be used and that is my next point that is flowcharts flowcharts are very integral part of your answers for the subjects which are completely theoretical or are mostly theory theory based for example the subjects of pharmacology forensic medicine psm etc if i just take an example of the subject of pharmacology for example you are asked why ondansetron is used as an anti emetic agent now this answer should have two parts in part 1 you should talk about the entire pathway of emesis how this vomiting occurs how the 5ht3 receptors are activated where are they present and how they finally act in the vomiting center resulting in the vomiting in the second section we need to talk about the action of this drug called as ondansetron how it acts on the 5ht3 receptors and blocks them resulting in anti emesis if you write this entire answer in a paragraph format it becomes very monotone rather you can take help of flow charts to represent this answer better in one single sheet of paper and you end up getting equal marks as of who actually writes this entire answer in a paragraph format so flow charts in these subjects which are mostly theory based becomes very essential and very visually representable talking about the fifth and the final point that is beautifying your answer sheets beautifying your answer sheets with boxes clouds highlighters underlines is something very essential once you have completed writing the entire paper bring out the important keywords and put an underline under them if you are very much confident about certain lines and you want the examiner to put an extra effort and want to attract the examiner's attention to a particular point in an answer draw a box around it and that becomes very useful and visually appealing to the examiner third you can also use highlighters but do not use those neon highlighters because they make the answer sheets even more dirtier rather use the pastel highlighters to highlight the headings and subheadings so that the entire answer script remains visually appealing and i am recommending the usage of highlighters and colored pens and pencils because these are allowed to be used in the university exams so with this i come to an end of this video this was a very short video and these are five exact points which you can make use of to make your answers visually appealing and make the representation of the answers good enough so with this i come to an end of this video i will put a link down in the comment section in the first pinned comment as well as in the description box which would contain some model answers of pharmacology you can refer to that for your representation of answers i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with whomever might find it helpful as well thank you see you in the next one